Welcome back, my Earth Force friends. I'm your host, CF, and you're watching CF Tactics. In this video, we're going to go back to basics in Earth Wars with tips for beginners. So many times I've done some topics that address middle to high level players, and this time I felt that I should offer some tips and tricks to the new players from an experienced player. With so many options available to new players, they, the experience can be overwhelming, but these are some common sense tips and some arguably controversial tips to our new players. Do not start an alliance. More so than not, new players want the immediate prestige of being a commander or being an officer. What they fail to realize is, in starting and running a successful alliance, it takes time, knowledge, and experience. Join an established alliance. There are many to choose from, some of which even offer an entry tier alliance that will assist you in learning the game, strategies, various game modes, and how to use the bots that you unlock. Don't spend your cyber coins or your Shanix frivolously. You're gonna be tempted in the early stages of the game to you know, spend your cyber coins and or your Shanix as you get it on crystals. Don't. Spend the cyber coins on more important items, specifically your base's build bots. There are currently a cap of five of them, and trust me, as you grow, you're going to need all five. Get them as soon as possible. This will help you get your base built up faster. Upgrade your storages first, then your harvesters. Every level of your base will offer greater capacity for your resources. Energon, Alloy, and Ore 13 are precious resources, and you will need them at almost every stage. After each level, upgrade your resource storages first, increasing their capacity, then increase your harvesters. I'm also including storage and harvesters information so you can see the capacities and their yields. Upgrade your base and your bots in unison. A lot of people will argue this as well. Earth Wars is built as an escalation system. So as you grow and develop, the more challenging the game gets. It's a symbiosis in many ways. The stronger you build your base, the stronger you can make your bots. Upgrade a small batch of bots as you upgrade your base. The symbiosis and growing both at the same time will become clear. It'll seem a little daunting, but doing the both in unison at the same time will help you grow a lot faster and easier. Participate in events. Events are the mainstay of the game, and many players will argue that. But the events offer you, the player, good set of rewards including resources, bots, crystals, shards, skips. Many different rewards are available in these events. Don't skip out on them. You may miss something. Learn the game. There are various content creators and user guides available on Reddit to help learn the game. Learn tactics, strategies, the little things in the game. That's one of the reasons why you found this video, right? Links to other content creators and user's guides are available in the video description below. Don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't try to keep pace with other players or your friends. Do heed their advice and tips, but play at your own pace. Many longtime or higher level players do later on regret some of their rushing when they were earlier and younger players. But go ahead, you do you. Don't rush your base. This one is a bit controversial. Some players will urge players to rush their bases to get them up to a certain level. Others, like myself, will urge players not to. As you grow stronger and hit higher zones and higher levels, it's going to become a hurry up and wait game, especially with research times 
spanning into the days and weeks. If you don't want to hurry up and wait, don't rush your base. Upgrade your stasis mines. They're the smallest base buildings in your base map and can easily be overlooked. Many players, including myself, in the early stages of the game, have indeed forgotten about them. They're one of your major defenses in the base and easily overlooked. So don't forget to upgrade your stasis mines. Metals. Some will argue that metals matter. Others will argue they don't. I'm a little bit in the middle. Yes, metals do denote a player's activity and potential level. However, metals come and go. They're not a metric that has a direct influence on anything except achievements. Avoid wasting spark. It's a precious resource. It's not all that common as it may appear. Yes, you get it through dupes and through events and some other additional rewards, but Spark is a commodity that is worth its weight in gold. Early on, you're going to be excited about getting new bots and want to invest in them. Don't concentrate too much on investing Spark in your one or two star bots. As you unlock more of them, because there are a total of 13 one stars and at present 109 two stars, you'll get duplicates and unlock three and four star bots, each of which, at the time of this video, there are about 111. Invest in the three and four stars. Upgrade your research lab. Many new players get locked out quickly, thinking that they've already maxed out their bots and can't upgrade their research lab because there's some fault in the game. That's not true. Your research lab does cap out at certain levels. Your bots will also cap out at certain levels. But the research lab helps your bots get better, grow stronger, and get larger. It'll take your bots a lot longer to max out than your research lab. I've also attached the research lab capacities and information here. Invest in all your bots. This is another controversial topic here. Many players will stay with their favorites or ones that they feel are best overall. What defines a good bot, in my opinion, is one that suits you well. Some bots may have more uses than others, but work out combinations and strategies within your squads to find out what works best for you, the individual player. What works for someone else may or may not work well for you. Find your own path. Invest in your bots. Don't worry about your faction. With the inclusion of cross-factional alliances, being an Autobot player or being a Decepticon player doesn't really matter anymore. You can play on the same team. You can still play with your friends who are in a different faction than you are and play in the same alliance. There's also really no difference in the bots or cons. Most of the Autobots and Decepticons have counterparts that do the exact same thing. There are a few bots in game that do have different abilities, like Ultra Magnus versus Galvatron. There are also faction independent bots in the game, like Double Dealer, Snapdragon, Gnaw, and Impactor that are available to both faction players. I hope these tips will help you or someone you know still in the early stages of Earth Wars. Was there a tip I could have shared and forgot to? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this or any of my other videos, please like and subscribe. I've been your host CF, and this has been another episode of CF Tactics.